Hello everyone, Commander Ricardo here, and I'm at the latest craze in the rear system, where doing passenger missions seems to be profitable once again. You can forget Quince, you can get your Rubigo mines of the past. This is where it's at, doing passenger missions, but a particular type of passenger mission. Now I've got no particular high standing in this system. I rocked in, I sold my car to graphic data, and I went and kitted my entire ship out with cabins. And that's all I've done. Now to increase some rank you can go through and do all those lame missions. Or you can just go in there and do some of these businessmen, business persons or refugees seeking transport. Now these people aren't particular to the cabin they want. I've kitted my anaconda out with first class cabins simply because, well, there'll be no arguments then, will there? So I've gone in there. You select a mission, thank you very much, you click on it, you pick a cabin, and you drop them in. These people and these types of missions aren't particular about sharing cabins, like an individual tourist would be. They'd expect their own cabin. These people, they're happy to slim it with the rest of us, and you know, you can use your cabin storage space or capacity to its best capacity, really. Now, I was able to go through here and select quite a few missions. In fact, I got up to, on my first attempt, 25 million worth of passenger missions. That's pretty good. And the system that we're going to um, is quite literally round the corner. It, it's one jump. Well, one jump for this in, in the Volta Conda, because the Volta Conda's got like a 32 light year jump range with all the cabins. When it's normally kitted out, it's got about. 42-43. So you need a ship that's capable of holding as many cabins as you possibly can, because believe me, you'll fill it up. And you need a ship that's got a pretty good jump range. So you better get yourself over to Felicity and, and, and get a jump range sorted out for her. So here we go. Now, every man and his dog's in this system, so getting the missions is pretty slow. Okay, and get into the passenger missions is pretty slow. A lot of people are taking advantage of this money-making scheme. And that's what it is. It's a money-making scheme. I dare say they'll throttle it back. Or perhaps Frontier Developments are allowing people to make a hell of a lot of money because you're going to need it in the rebuy screen as soon as the Thargoids turn up. Now, I've had a theory with these Thargoids as well. I think that we're only actually seeing the Sidewinder versions of the Thargoids. These... You know, interceptors are usually fast, nimble ships or or vessels. Um, what you want to be scared of is those heavy bulk cruisers. Now, I've gone in and I've tried to do a board swap as well to see what's going on. I've gone back in at open play, um, see if anything's refreshed. Just on the off chance I could just get a few more people to fill up those cabin spaces. Now, I am at Leet when it comes to trading, okay? Um, and I'm a ranger for exploration. So that will have some standing on the quality of missions that you have. Also the standing that you have um, with the station factions. So obviously the more missions you do, the more your rating will increase and the better missions you'll have. So there you go, we're gonna go through and see if we've got any more tourists seeking transport. There, a couple there for a couple of million. Ooh, that'll do nicely. We'll have that. Thank you very much. Pick a cabin. You can see they're starting to fill up. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. 14 business persons seeking transport. We'll have that. 10 million. Oh, yes. Get them in the cabins and get them in quick. So... Going round and picking up these sort of missions of that particular ilk, and it hasn't all got to be 10 million or, or like, you know, 2 million. It can be 500,000 as long as you use as much space as you possibly can and make that trip worthwhile. Now, see, going for a tourist, he wants his own cabin and he's going to be quite prissy about things as well. Oh, don't scan me. 
or you know don't get into combat with your ship or you know don't do this don't do that oh i've changed my mind i want to go somewhere else so go for the protesters go for the businessmen go for the aid workers they'll all slim it down in the same old cabin and you know you can make some decent coin you know what i mean decent coin like i say this one run it took me about 10 minutes and I got 25 million. Now, I think it's going to be as lucrative in other systems as well, where you've got some pretty high standing. Um, I'm pre I've been doing a lot of work in Wuganagi um, recently, prior to 2.4, to get some funds up, because I bought I bought the, um, the Corvette, and I bought the Anaconda, and all of a sudden, my money is gone. Especially when you kit it out, and you go back and forth engineers. But this way seems to be a good way of recouping the funds, and, as far as I can see, this is not subverting game mechanics. This is just doing passenger missions, right? Um, this seems to be as by design. Whether Frontier Development will go in and then you know, dial it back a bit, who knows? Who knows? So my advice is to take advantage of this while you can. Make hay while the sun shines, as they say. So, I filled up our missions, I headed over to the system, moved away from ITO terminal, into this particular system. Up to the station, and I've speeded this up for your viewing pleasure. Warhola Horizons. There you go, redeem my bounty bounty, just got interdicted by some guy in a, in a, in a Cobra. Thanks for that. Just wasted my time. So we're on 317 million. 317 million is the start. Plus, I've got about 25 million just over of, of missions. And we're going to claim all those up now. Straight away, you know, that was one for 10 million. Um, so we're up to 327 and change. Let's get rid of those politicians. It's increasing all the time. You know, so this is easy money. Easy way of doing it. So that basically is is what the score is. Now, where the ITO terminal is, where you've got all these missions, is Agricultural World. This particular station here, Warhola Hub, right, is industrial. So you can pick up things like um, crop harvesters. Get your combine harvesters on the go and take them back. So if you've got some storage space, got a bit of got a bit of uh, cargo space. Fill up. Empty cargo is only going to waste, in my opinion, and you can increase a bit of money. So also, you can pick missions to go back the other way, but be careful. I mean, I picked one up that was going to a land-based mission, which slowed me down quite a bit, but I was able to get two or three million going back the other way. And then, of course, I stocked up again on missions and then went back and did another one. So there you go. This is the rear system and the new passenger missions money-making scheme. So all this took about 10 minutes, right? So I started at 1716, it's now 1723. I've made the coin and I'm on my way back. You do the math, that works out to be with all the messing about, and of course the Anaconda's not a particularly fast ship, you know. Um, I say about 100 million, probably 100 million in an hour if you put your mind to it and didn't go messing about and, and looking at this and looking at that and just did the missions. So 100 million credits per hour, I think, is achievable. Easily achievable. And like I say, you can assume missions and take on missions going back the other way just to try and maximize your trip as well. So if you're not already doing it, I think it's a really good, um, really good thing to do. Can I take this opportunity to ask you to click the subscribe and the like button? And also the notification button as well. So if you like what you see, um, you'll get notified when I do more videos on YouTube. I've been Ricardo. This has been Elite Dangerous 2.4 The Return. And we've been making money. See you soon and check back for more videos in the series.